And what is up, guys? It is Zelda Walkthrough 35 and welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, the Wind Waker 100% playthrough. And in this part, I know we said we were going to go to this uh, area over here where we have to go, but instead, I'm going to be going to every one of the squares, every single one of them, right now. And I'm going to be giving the bait to that fish guy, that annoying fish guy, so we can unlock the area on our map, so I'll have every single area, and it won't be like the unexplored sector anymore. And the reason I'm doing this now is because before we had the winds requem, so we could travel anywhere, and now we also have the boomerang. And now since we have the boomerang, we can fight off any enemies if we need to. So, I'm gonna, this is gonna be the biggest cut I'm ever gonna do, but uh, it needs to be done, I'm gonna do it right now, and the rest of the game will be that much easier. This is probably like the most annoying part of the entire game. But, I'm going to be doing it right now, and I will cut, and I will see you guys when I get all the squares. Alright guys, we're back here. I'm at the last two squares. So, let's feed this fish. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. And Rock Spire Isle. Okay, now boy, do I have so much stuff to tell you. Now, in, in um, yeah, blah blah blah. Okay. Now, okay, I'm gonna quickly just show you everything, just just in case while I talk. So, anyways, um, basically, while you travel this entire area, searching for and getting these squares, finding the fish, the fish could be in random places. So that's why I didn't show it to you guys and waste. I was gonna help you guys find it, but there's no point in me showing it because the fish might be in a random place for you guys. In addition, now that we have the boomerang, we can fight off any enemies. So the, the strategy is to avoid every single enemy, and if you have to fight them, then just use the boomerang and try to kill the enemy. There's very annoying enemies like sharks and um, these boats that shoot cannonballs, and loads of other stuff like that. But the worst out of all of them is this giant cyclone. That's um, It's in uh, random places in, in, on the map, and if you get sucked into it, it's a giant one, it's not one of the small ones. It'll... Um, it'll be a little cutscene where you have to fight him off, but we can't do anything right now, so it'll suck you up and transport you randomly on this map. So it's really annoying. Just just avoid him. And that's pretty much it. So use your boomerang if you need to, and over there is actually that empty square. We can't get that right now. It, it's like, you know what, fuck it, I accidentally wasted the bait. But uh, we can't get that right now. No, yeah, just jump into the bait link. Okay, so now we're going to be going to that area on the map that we're supposed to go to. And so yeah, so yeah, we can we can't get that empty square because that's like we'll be getting that later on. Right now you can't because there's no fish there and it's not unlocked yet. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't wanna spoil anything. But for now, let's go down here. Yeah, I like to do this thing where you like open and close the sail. I don't know if it makes it faster, but it definitely feels like it does. So and it makes it more interesting. So you're just traveling through the sea. So, oh look at that, clouds on top. If you see the little shiny things over there, you can actually stop your boat, use the grappling hook, and get the treasure under the ground. And there's going to be bigger lights, which have important tre treasure later on. But here we are. Right. Look, Link, do you see it? What has happened to this place? Great Fish Island. Now, we're supposed to go here to find, um, to get the third pearl. What, what, what is the meaning of this? This island it is... We are too late. I knew we had precious little time, but I never suspected how little. A great water spirit named Jaboon once lived here, but no sign of him remains. Oh, there, Link! Oh, look at that, it's our buddy. So you're here, I've been looking for you. Are you by chance seeing the great spirit, Jaboon? Sorry, Portia, Jabun can no longer be found here. Just look at this place, it's been torn to pieces. I suppose this too is the work of the shadow of the Forsaken Fortress. But fear not, Jabun was able to flee the island. Would you like to guess where that abode may be? Yeah, where? Uh huh. What the f? Huh? Yeah, so actually, we, we, we came here to find Jabun to get the third pearl, but he actually left, left here and he went onto our home island, outside island. And, um, the thing is, we cannot reach him yet, because we need an item. And the pirates know about it. So let's see what he has to say. I don't know what they hope to get, but they'll immediately set sail for outside island and try to break into the cave. 
So yeah, there's a cave that he's hiding in, and you actually need bombs in order to enter that cave, and we don't have bombs. So we need to go to Windfall Island and get the bombs. So let's go there. Valu, yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, this island is cursed. Yeah, okay, you can leave. Okay. Now, I guess I will be going over to Windfall. And, yeah, what do you have to say? So, Jabun has survived. The sea spirit has lived through the trials of many long years. He must have caught Wind again, attacked beforehand. Fear it. So, yeah, we have to go find the pirates. They're on Windfall Island. We'll find out more information, get the bombs. Go to Outside Island. Alright. So I'm going to be cutting it to Windfall Island. Actually, no, first off, I forgot this fish guy over here. Where is it? Yeah, here it is. Okay, it's right here. I forgot about this uh, square. And, yeah, okay. Mm, blah, blah. And there we go. Great Fish Isle. Now we have every square except for that one that we can't get right now. Nice. Took me like two hours to do it, but... <laughs> it's done and the rest of the game will be that much easier. So, I guess I'm gonna be cutting it to Windfall Island. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys, um... You do not want to go to Windfall Island, because the thing is, I forgot... Over here, on Great Fish Isle, you have to go over here to this spiral um, rock thing. Let's see if I can swim over there before I die. Come on, let's go. Oh shit, oh shit. And, okay, here we go. Made it on top. <laughs> so, let's go. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to go up here, and you want to set the deck of leaf like I just did, because there's actually a tr little small cave over there. Actually, the hell, a little dead plant. Okay, anyway, so uh, let me get my telescope out here. Okay, so over this, that, no, not over, yeah, over, where is it? I think it's over there. Yeah, right there. That's where, um, the, uh, there's a small cave with a treasure chest in it, and you actually have to fly with the deck of leaf, but first you want to change the wind. So it's northwest. Pretty sure it's northwest. Which are way links facing? Yeah, it's northwest. All right, there we go. Now let's jump off and fly there. Doesn't look like you made the jump. It's a huge jump. Ugh. Come on. But yeah, you can. And let go now. All right, there. We, yeah, there we go. Spike chest. There we go. Piece of heart. Number seven. And it refilled our hearts again. Yes. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I'm going to meet you guys on Windfall Island. So I will see you guys in a little bit. I'm going to cut right till I'm over there. Oh yeah, shit, 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 shit. Oh my god. Yeah, so I was I was just on my way to Windfall Island and this freaking monster pops out of nowhere. Uh, if, you, if, the, if you see a bunch of floating seagulls, do not fly into them. Actually, yeah, you do want to fly into them because you can kill this monster guy. So, what you have to do, it's much easier with bombs later on, but all we have is the boomerang, so you just gotta keep on targeting as many as you can with the boomerang. Let's see if I can do this without dying here. It's hard. It, they say it's harder, but for me, I feel like it's easier because you don't have to aim at the bombs. Let's see if I can kill him here. So yeah, I accidentally uh, uh, rolled into this guy. Uh, I was gonna actually fight him later on in the game when I had bombs, but I might as well kill him now and get the prize right now. Okay. So it takes multiple hits on each eye, but you can kill him. I'm pretty sure I can kill him, hopefully I don't die. 
Alright, there's three eyes left. Oh shit, I'm getting closer. Wow. I, I'm pretty sure I hit them like five times already. What's really cool is when you target one, you can target it through his body, and it just like floats like right through. There's one, see, look at that. I hit it through its body, and there you go, he's dead. Yeah, so, what happens after he dies, if he will die a little quicker. See, so yeah, there's another one of these, um, yeah, there it is, okay. There's one of these light things again. I, I didn't get any of them yet, but, um, we have to, what you actually have to do is, um, set your grappling hook, just roll up to it, and when, when you get close to it, it's gonna go away. You're gonna hear this noise, and then you wanna use the grappling hook to get the treasure. If you see any of these in the sea, they're only, like, rupees, small, like, 10, 20 rupees, but after we kill this guy, it's gonna be something else. So here we are, our first treasure. You're gonna be seeing this cutscene a lot. And look at that, shit, piece of art number 8. I, this was, I wasn't even, ex I wasn't even, um, planning on, um, getting this one, but I did. But I'm gonna cut it to windfall anyway, so I'll see you guys.